<laughs> All right, we're recording. You taught us well. You can say yes. <laughs> <laughs> Comedy Central. Uh, you want to say hi? Hi. Hi. And you're hi. looking out there at the camera, and so let's see. Uh, introductions, first name only. Uh, I guess we'll start hi. Nancy. My name's Nancy. And Kathy. Teresa. Okay, good. And so you had surgery last week. Good, and uh, each of you are a little bit special. Um, Nancy, you've had a long background in medicine. 40 years. I'm the director of surgical services for St. Rose Hospital. Great. And so I have a lot of surgical experience. And with that, and with my history, um, and my, I, for two years I did research, because anybody in medicine does research and they do evidence-based practice. By that meaning, what is the outcomes and what's gone? And I've taken care of for years, a lot of patients have had the old ruin why and the other procedures and I've had a lot of bad outcomes and I've seen that so there was a lot of fear with me then Dr. Redwich came along and for two years I've watched him and seen what he's done and his success and so that's when I took the step and decided this was the best practice and the best way to go um, there's another thing that people don't realize and that's the environment of the surgery in the OR room we have a lot of different surgeons a lot of different temperaments and a lot of different flow and what's real important that patients don't always realize is that team that's doing it, and he has an awesome team. They've done it over and over. They, they're an extension of each other. The, the environment in that room is cohesive. They, he's never yells. He doesn't scream. He doesn't do all the things a lot of people do. And, and that may sound silly to you, but as a director of surgery, that keeps that room in tune. They are, a, they are a smooth running machine, and that's important to you as patients. Right, we kind of heard Lewis say this. I mean, I think we feel very proud about this. Uh, it's, it's very stressful, as you might imagine, to be in an operating room, and the surgeon is kind of the one in charge, and he's more allowed to kind of let out, you know, his uh, grumpy inner grumpy person. <laughs> and sometimes, unfortunately, surgeons are known to kind of sometimes do that, be a little uh, <clears throat> under the stress of the surgery. They'll you know, maybe be a little fussy or noisy or things like that. And, you know, we're really blessed, I think, um, as Lewis talked about, he watched, you know, a couple of surgeries, including removal of that band. And I think the beauty of our surgery, and you can kind of see it on our videos, is it's smooth, it's simple, it's very quick, there's very minimal blood loss, and that's why the patients do so well. And I think the three of you are pretty exciting examples. Uh, Nancy called me uh, <clears throat> on the day after surgery to, I think she was joking, but she said she wanted her money back. <laughs> because she said she I hadn't really done the surgery because she had no pain, right? Uh -huh. And he said, go eat a big meal, and you'll see that I did. <laughs> <laughs> I truly can tell you there is no pain. None. I could go, I don't want my boss to hear this, but I actually could have gone to work Monday. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll edit that part out. <laughs> <laughs> well, good. Thank you for, I mean, again, we, we appreciate your willingness to comment on that. That's extremely kind of you. Thank you. We're Thank very you. Thank flattered. You. And Thank excited you. you're doing well. Thank you. Good. And uh, we'd like to show off uh, our patient from Eagle River, Alaska. And uh, you had pretty significant diabetes. I did. I was extremely insulin resistant. I have been on every type of insulin that they made, including the insulin pump. I was 200 units twice a day of Lantus. On top of that was lots of pills and glucophage, 1,000 milligrams twice a day. Um, I actually was lucky enough to stumble across a doctor in Eagle River that Dr. Scallop was, did your research. And he turned me on to your site and kept after me for about a year to research and see if this wasn't something I could do. Um, so I had his full support. And if I can save one other diabetic from suffering years of this kind of frustration um, I found as being in Alaska where you don't have a lot of medical people that, you know, you have maybe three endocrinologists in the state, that you have to stay on top of your own health care to what's happening in the fields. And if I can save that frustration, because I spent 15 years dealing with that, and, and getting poor health continually, and, not, and, and I can't believe the difference in this, from 200 units twice a day, I now, last night took 50 units, this morning 50 units, yesterday 128 was a sugar, 86 today. No <laughs> Absolutely not a pill. No glucophage, no cholesterol, no. And I, and I woke up day two after surgery and went, I came down here rubbing my hands because my arthritis was so bad. 
There is no pain in my hands, my knees, my feet. It was unreal. Uh, it's like, what did he do? <laughs> yeah. it's, it's unbelievable. And, and like I say, if I can save one diabetic from going through the frustration of continual trial to find a help, it's worth it. That's awesome. That's pretty cool. So your diabetes dosage of drugs is down. You were taking 200 twice a day, and now you're taking 50 twice a day, five days post-op. Five days full stop. So we decreased 150 twice at 300 units a day within three days. And this morning at 86, it was iffy whether I wanted to take the 50. Right. So that you're on the borderline be of being a former diabetic. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And and you know, for years you listen to people say that you can't cure diabetes. Right, right. But but what do you call it when you don't have to take the meds? We call it really good. <laughs> <laughs> what do you call it? We call it really good. Well, you're very kind. Again, I know you were a little shy about uh, being on TV. Your kindness is much appreciated. And uh, last but not least, uh, Teresa, you want to say hey? Hey. <laughs> uh, I also was a diabetic. I was on, last week I was on an insulin pump, taking about 100, 110 units of Novolog a day. Uh, I haven't had the pump on since the day of surgery. I also was taking Bieta, 10 milligrams twice a day, and I'm not taking any Bieta. And um, my sugars are about between 190 and 220, so I am still taking some glucophage twice a day, but I expect that every morning my sugars are lower by a little bit. So I expect between a couple weeks to be completely off of that as well. And so and I don't, my feet don't hurt. Darn, my husband rubs my feet every night, and I don't have an excuse. <laughs> my legs don't hurt, my knees don't <coughs> hurt. Um, I feel, oh, no more blood pressure medicine. Blood pressure is normal. I feel very good, and I had no pain. No, the only, you know, the needle prick when they put the, the IV in, it's the only thing you feel, and that's, that's nothing. But, it's been an amazing experience. <coughs> now, as for, for truth and advertising, we have to say there's one lady who had surgery with us last week who's actually in the hospital this morning, and she came back because she did have pain. So, you know, when we do these videos, we kind of have just the best people talking. We want to apologize, <laughs> but Sydney says hey to everybody. And she was feeling really bad last night. She said, as I talked to her, she said, gee, I feel like I'm a wimp. And I said, no, not at all. I said, some people do have pain. It's really nice that all of you have done so well. But we do need to tell our viewers and the patients who are having surgery, sometimes you have pain, and so she's back in for a day, everything looks fine. She just has more pain than somebody somebody else. She's a, a tiny bit older. She does have some other medical problems, so uh, it might be that's related to that, but we think she's otherwise doing great. And uh, But sometimes you do have pain after the surgery. It's, it's not the end of the world. So. Um, Thank you all so very much. You're very kind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.